All right, I'm Jeff Goodman. He is Randolph Childress, and today we take a look at one of my favorite players in the NBA draft. Yeah. Not just because my daughter went to school at Indiana, but I love Jalen Hood Chapino. <laughs> I, I will admit, uh, I might be the president of the fan club. I, I really might. <laughs> Six five, great size, can play either guard spot. Uh, one of the few freshmen in the country that lived up to the hype, and even to be honest, I, I think did more than Exceeded. we expected last yes. year for Mike Woodson in Indiana. Average thirteen and a half points a game. Uh, more than four rebounds a game, almost four assists a game. Great size, great versatility, RC. Listen, you you were a high-level guard. This is a kid that doesn't shoot it great, no. but I think he's got everything else. And, and to be honest, he's going to become a very good shooter because, man, his work ethic is off the charts. I don't think his shot mechanics is bad. I, I think his percentages are bad because of his shot selection. And I think his his – draft you know where he's draft slot depends greatly on do you view him as a point guard or an off guard he has good size no matter what yeah but if he can play point guard for he's you, a guard rc damn. i'm gonna stop you i'm gonna yeah, stop no, he you. is he is he's a guard he he's is. not a point guard he's not a two two guard he is just a guard and there aren't he's many guys you could say that about but you just put this kid on the court and you just say you know what like we're not calling you anything we can we can run plays where you initiate the offense. Yep. We can run plays where the other dude initiates the offense, and you can play off the ball. If but if you allow him, there's a different. But I say that if he the biggest difference is at that level. If he's just a guard, there's a lot of guards size wise that that fit him. He becomes yep. just like one of them. Okay. Because again. Where he took off for Indiana is when he slid over to that point guard spot. When Xavier Johnson went down, we were like, uh-oh, you hear it come. And this kid stepped up and rose to the occasion, yep. late game, playmaking, shot making. He showed glimpses of all those things. Yep. Now, you add a 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six guard with a 6'10", wingspan, and he evolves, and his decision making gets better, and he evolves into your point guard. Yeah. yeah. That, that changes everything now. Because now his size at point, it's something that a lot of teams, I mean, there's not a lot of six, six point guards out there. There's just not. And the guys that know how to play like that, I mean, he is, if he can evolve into that, now you're talking about his ceiling just jumped that much higher to me and why he's so intriguing that if he gets in these workouts and impress people that way, I think you can live with his decision making. I think his shot mechanics are good enough. Again, it's more shot selection yeah. than that. Yeah. Than uh, poor mechanics, so you're worried about it long term. I, I think you got you got to try to take a wing on him there and say, "Hey, man, let let's let's see what we got here." I, I'm like you. I'm a big fan. I'm intrigued by him. I think his upside is high as anybody in his draft. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, you know who I I think he can be like at the next level, like a Drew Holiday type. Yeah, I think he'd be like that, like where he's not going to blow you away, right? Right, like he's not a great great athlete that. That's the one knock on, on Jalen Hood. Right. Not a great athlete, not going to be an explosive dude, right? But like big, strong, every intangible can guard. Like he's yeah. got to get better defensively, but that's where better. Drew Drew makes his his mark, right? Elite level defender who who can be a a third option as a big point guard. Now he's right. bigger than than Drew. Yes, he's, he's bigger. bigger than Drew. But, but than Drew. Drew's big and strong. Like that's what. That's what he is, and, and he's not an elite shooter. I don't know what – Drew didn't do anything coming out of college. Um, but he's he's not an elite shooter from three, but has turned into a good shooter from three. I, I, I Listen, to me, what I love is I love the poise and maturity of Jalen Hood Chiffino. It's hard to speed him up, right? You can. Really, really hard to speed him up. And, and I – the mental – approach I, I love as well like I, I saw him so many times last year where other freshmen would have gotten rattled making yes. mistakes making poor decisions he comes right back from them like nothing happened there are a lot of freshmen you know how hard it was as a freshman to forget about that bad play you just made he does that 11 and 4 finishing the season as the starting point guard of Indiana and I thought he turned this season around he did. And took a lot of heat off everybody else, everybody from, you know, Woodson, Mike Woodson coaching him the way he did, his confidence level of this kid. Again, if I just think it's a massive difference 
if he can play the point or if he's off the wing. Because if he's on the wing, then it's kind of like, what is he? He's another guy, not a great shooter, not an elite athlete. As a point guard, he doesn't need to have the elite athleticism because he's 6'5", 6'6". He has the size. So that's why I say draft wherever you draft him, you're going to see where he gets drafted. One, he's a good player. I think he's definitely a top 15 player in his draft. I think he goes higher because I think he's proven to you, hey, man, I went 11 and 4 when they put the ball in my hand. Yeah. Like you have evidence there of what he can be as a lead guard. I, I, I think his upside as a point guard is scary. I mean, his size as a point guard, I mean, he has to get better, a little bit better defensively, a little bit better shot yeah. selection. I mean, but the tools and, the, you know, the, the mold and the putty to, to, to mold him to what you want him to be, it's all there. I, I'm a big, big fan of his. I don't think his shot mechanics are bad at all. Uh, as a, but if I can make him, a, if I can e- evolve him into a point guard, you got something. I mean, there were games, um, especially back in like January, where he shot the hell out of it. So mm-hmm. he showed the ability to do it and 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 carry Indiana when they needed him most. You know, again, obviously Trey Jackson Davis was their best player, but but he was kind of the running mate. He he stepped up and he did it a lot quicker, like you said. When Xavier Johnson went down, that opened it up for him. That yeah. opened it, it put pressure on him, to be honest, yep. that he needed to be better offensively than they anticipated. They didn't they didn't think they were gonna need him to score 13, 14 a game, but he he did that. Um again, a little quiet for the point guard spot. That that's mm-hmm. another area I would like to see him grow, but he's he's a freshman. He's a freshman, but I think that, you know, to me, I would take him somewhere in that 10 to 20 range. And I think he can be a starter. I think he can be like, all right, here's a good, here's here's a comparison I'll give you in, in some ways. Can he be like a Jalen Brunson type? Now, Brunson's smaller, but again, Brunson's not a great athlete. He's just got every intangible, all the toughness, the IQ, the maturity, all of that. I see some of the same intangibles in Jalen Hood Shafino. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, Am I crazy? I, I... No, I, I I was gonna pick another comp that would but even crazier than that. I was gonna say like a big guard like Jamal Murray. I don't think he is as Jamal good as Murray was wired to score though. Yes, yeah, he's not he's not to score. He's not right. to score, no question. Right. But you see the threat that he poses at that size, and he's a little bigger. Yes, yes. Like I, I mean, I just don't think you can understand of a guy. I mean, people not saying you, but people don't understand a six six point guard what that does because now you put that on the floor, that's like um. I, I mean, a size wise, now you're so much bigger. You don't have to. His ability when he fills out becomes a man. His ability is going to be able to switch and defend multiple positions at that size that you just can't with your six two six three point guard. I mean, he and he's a big two hundred and fifteen two hundred twenty pound guard. Our partner for today's episode is Athletic Greens. I started taking AG1 during the college basketball season, and I loved the impact that it had on my energy levels. I'm a big coffee in the morning guy, but by the time that the afternoon would hit, I needed another boost. AG1 helped me tremendously, especially on those days when I didn't want to get up off the couch and go hit the gym. Their tagline is, AG1 is comprehensive health and the power of habit in one, and man, that could not be more true. It's nearly impossible to eat and drink in a healthy manner in the month of February and the month of March when you are in my business. And AG1 was exactly the supplement that I needed to improve my gut health and cover my nutritional bases for the day. I've continued that into April. I've continued that into May, and I'm going to continue that the rest of the summer. All I have to do is mix a scoop of AG1 with some water or maybe add it into a smoothie and I'm ready to go. Do it after lunch and you'll be ready to go for the rest of the day. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine then athletic greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin d and five free travel packs with your first purchase go to athleticgreens.com backslash field six eight that's field six eight f-i-e-l-d the number six the number eight and you can get yours now so check it out and help support this show thanks and he's young. And he's and young. He's young. So he's going to get physically stronger. I, I nice. think the upside there, again, if someone, if he can make that transition to the point guard spot, now he's he's streaky streaky shooting. Yes. You know, he's not great. Yes. He's streaky. He can make shots. We know he can make shots, but he also can go one of 14. We've seen that as well. Um, I mean, he has some things to, you know, to work on, but his, his, his upside as a PG, 
man, if you can, if he can make that full transition and not just be a guard, it's the difference in the level of what he can reach is what I think. I think if he slides off and becomes a, just a combo guard, then I think he just fits in with another dude. If you slide him at that point, if he can make that transition, then his upside, because of his size, he doesn't need the uh, elite athleticism because he's such a big physical guard. I, I think he's a guy that can be a, you know, maybe not a top five point guard in the NBA. I'm not going to put that on him, but I think right. he can be in, in that next tier. I think he can yep. be in that, again, that Jalen Brunson type yes. tier of point guards um, moving forward eventually because of his size, because of his competitiveness. And, and again, I'll go back to it. The Indiana staff raved about how hard he worked. They had to keep him out of the gym. And, and yeah. that's rare for a freshman to come in with that type of work ethic right. and understanding of not only getting in the gym, but taking care of your body. Things right. like that. That that again, a lot of kids don't learn until they're they're 30 years old, 28 right. years old, until they have to. Jalen Hood Shafino is already well ahead of the game. And, and again, you had games like in, in, in January against Northwestern, against Iowa, where he carried this team and made shots from deep, hit, you know, five or seven, five or eight from three. So right. he's shown the ability to do it. It's just got to be on a more consistent basis. But if he does that, improves, again, cuts down on some of the the, the bonehead decisions, which he's going to be able to do. I mean, again, this is his first year at college, and he was thrust into a role. Right midway through or early yeah. you know yeah. 10 games into the season he was thrust into this role right. that honestly nobody expected him to play and he was able yeah. to pivot and take that at a place like indiana with all that pressure on him yeah. a ton of pressure because this was a team that frankly you know again a lot of people put these expectations on a group that hadn't done anything before nothing and and he helped them get to a point where they were in the top 25 most of the year and he was you know the Robin to Tracy Ox and Davis's Batman there. And and it was, like you said, there was games. We watched him make closing plays. Like he wanted the ball in his hand. Yep. Oh he yeah. He was a primary decision maker. He wanted those shots. He wanted the moment. Again, if we can just, man, if he can figure out and slide over and solidify and become yep. a really good point guard, just from a mentality. I'm with you. You're right. The more I, you oh talk to me, yeah, the more he Ooh. needs to be a point guard to yes. be a high end NBA. Yes, point. yes. Like he can be a third guard yes. coming off the bench, throw him out there, and he can play either spot and yes. be a nice piece. But if he wants to be an elite level NBA player, a guy who's a max contract type player, which yep. honestly, I'm not sure if he can be, but it wouldn't shock me if he's a guy that, that is a, a fringe all star down the road. Because we talked about it, you you know insight would <laughs> because of what the staff and everybody raves about what he brings to the table. Like he's a grinder, he's a worker, he's a guy you got to be like, man, get out of here. He right. gets to that level with the access to that where he can just focus on his game. When guys come I in with that mentality, this. then then then, then it's it, it's the 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 high you know his ceiling is just so high, yep. and you can't limit him. I think the biggest difference is going to be is he kind of. A combo guard, or if he can make the transition to the point guard spot, just dictates, I think, what he can become long term down the road. What does NBA career project like? All right, sounds like I'm not the only member of the Jalen Hood Chafino fan club. <laughs> uh, Randolph Childress joining me here as the vice president. Uh, make sure you join us. Field of 68 NBA draft. We'll break them all down uh, this time. Jalen Hood Chafino, Indiana freshman. We both love him. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching the field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends or check out the description for some other places that you can consume field 68 content.